New tonight, we're getting our first look inside the fire-damaged Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Tonight, firefighters say they have saved the main structure of the 800-year-old building. The two iconic main towers remain intact. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Savard. Courtney has the night off. The burning of Notre Dame is the most talked about story around the globe tonight. Concern about saving the cathedral came after the world witnessed Notre Dame's iconic spire collapse. In the last few hours, firefighters have gotten the entire fire under control. All the artwork that's stored inside has been safely evacuated. A cause of the fire is still being investigated. The 800-year-old cathedral was undergoing renovations. The cost to rebuild is unclear, but help is already on the way. A French billionaire tonight is pledging $113 million, and French President Emmanuel Macron says a national donation program will begin tomorrow. The city of St. Louis, of course, features a number of historic buildings. News 4's Alexis Zotto spoke with the fire department about their efforts to prepare for a similar fire here. She joins us live from the Cathedral Basilica. Alexis. Steve, it is Holy Week, which means it is the busiest week of the year here at the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. As people were coming out of mass today, so many were reacting with heartbreak over the fire at Notre Dame. Now here at the Cathedral, they recently upgraded their fire and smoke suppression system, but still the St. Louis Fire Department says they are always prepping and preparing for a fire. The moment the iconic spire of Notre Dame fell, a gasp from the crowds. The cathedral in Paris is one of the most iconic monuments in the world. Everybody knows about the cathedral of Notre Dame. They make movies about it. Andrew Parker and his wife Marie were leaving St. Louis's iconic cathedral basilica Monday afternoon, having just heard of the fire in Paris. It makes you appreciate what we've what we've got right here. Our city is filled with historical and architectural icons. The Cathedral Basilica, the Fox Theater, the St. Louis Arch, places the St. Louis Fire Department is prepared to protect in the event of an emergency. We have pre-plans of those buildings to identify accesses in and, in and out of the structure. Uh, our water supply. During every shift, the St. Louis Fire Department checks out buildings in their individual districts, reviewing plans of attack. We just had a uh, small fire in the yards just the other day. Each one presents its own little challenge, if you will. That one would be very challenging because of its accessibility to it. Churches like Notre Dame prove especially challenging. Because of the size of it, because of the open beam structure and stuff like that, that creates a hazard very, very quickly. There is also the efforts to save the items inside, like the department did at a recent museum fire, and the added pressure of working to save monuments of historical and emotional significance. You try not to let that get in, in your mind, because what you're trying to do is perform your job. The Archbishop here in St. Louis sending prayers to those in France and across the world as we watch that fire at Notre Dame. He also mentioning that connection we have with the French community right here in St. Louis. Live in Central West End, Alexis Zotos, News 4.